Now, the Broadman's areas of the brain, these areas are numbered in relation to the brain, the area, the precentral gyrus is known as area 4 and the area in front of precentral gyrus is area 6 and area 8 in relation to the in relation to the ascending ramus and the horizontal ramus there is an area 44 and area 45 which is known which is known as the broca's motor speech area 44 and 45 in relation to the parietal lobe, there is the post central gyrus. This area is known as area 3, 1, and 2. And the body is represented upside down in both the motor areas as well as the sensory areas. The lower limb in the motor area is represented on the medial side. The perineum is represented in relation to the supramedial border. The trunk and upper limb are represented on the superolateral surface. And as we go down, the hand area, especially the thumb area, has, is quite big. And lowest is the face, larynx, and pharynx. So larynx and thumb, they, including the hand, occupy a big area on the superolateral surface of the brain. The similar, almost similar is the representation in the post-central gyrus. The lower limb is represented on the medial side, perineum on the supramedial margin, and the trunk, upper limb, lips, teeth, face, and larynx are represented in the lower part. In the occipital area, the occipital lobe is responsible for the sense of vision. In relation to the calcarine sulcus is the area 17. On each side of the calcarine is area 18 and still on each side is area 19. So Area 18 and 19 are known as the peristriate area and the parastriate areas. In relation to the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus, this particular gyrus is the superior temporal gyrus. In the superior temporal gyrus is the area for hearing, area 41, 42, and on a posterior side, is area 22. So 41, 42 is the primary auditory areas and this is the 22 is the association auditory area. Then the taste is represented in the lowest part of the post central gyrus. The smell is represented in the up-interned part of the temporal lobe which is known as the uncus.